So continuing with 3.5, this is 3.5b, applications, and we're going to continue on. We're going to do the age problem, which is example number 5. It says if Anne is 22 years older than her daughter Stacy. Okay, in six years, the sum of their ages will be 42. How old are they now? I love using tables for these kind of things. Um, it really, really helps. So let's see if I can move this a little bit. All right, so we'll move this down a little bit. And we'll draw a line. And with these age problems, it usually does help to, draw, to, uh, to make a table here. And then I'll put the numbers in the table in green. Okay, so we have um, two different time periods. We have a now, and we have a in six years. Oh, this gal's name is Joanne, not just J Anne, Joanne. So we have Joanne is 22 years older than her daughter. All right, what do we know the least about? We don't know anything about her daughter's age now, but we do know Joanne is 22 years older than her. So let's make Stacy's age, the daughter, X, and Joanne is 22 years older than that. So whatever age Stacy is, Joanne is 22 years older, and that's now. In six years, so let's put six years you can read my writing, or if not, at least get an idea of what it says. All right, let's see. In six years, the sum of their ages will be 42. How old are they now? Well, let's see what their ages would be in six years. Well, if Stacy is X now, how old will she be in six years? Well, I don't know what X is. Let's say she's 3 now. In six years, she'll be 3 plus 6, which is 9. So if I don't know how old she is, she will be whatever age she is now, plus 6. And Joanne's the same way. She's 22 plus X now, and in 6 years, she'll be 6 years older. So I've got 22 plus X plus 6. I'm going to add the 22 and the 6 together and get 28, and that'll just simplify this a little bit. So she's 28 plus X. So I just added 6 to that 22 for 6 years down the road. Alright, so what does it say? Um, in 6 years, the sum of their ages, if we were to add all those up, the sum of their ages, so if I took Joanne's age in 6 years, and I added Stacy's age in 6 years, the sum of those ages would be 42. So how old are they now? So, I'm going to find x, because then I can find out how old she is now. I'm going to take my parentheses off, since there's no subtraction signs and no multiplication. I can just take my parentheses off and get that. So, I'm going to add 28 and 6 together and get 34. I'm going to add my 2x's together and get 2x, and that gives me 42. I'm going to continue trying to get my x by itself. So I'm going to subtract 34 here, subtract 34 here. And I get 2x, okay, that goes away, equals 42 minus 34, which is going to be 8. And that gives me, and then I can divide by 2, divide by 2, and my x equals 4. So, let's look and see what we've got there. Stacy's age now is 4. So I'm going to put, get rid of my x and put a 4 there. Because that's what they're asking for. How old are they now? So if Stacy is 4, then Stacy's mom, Joanne, must be whatever Stacy is, in this case 4, plus 22. So Joanne's age is 22 plus 4, which is 26. And the last one we'll do is a cell phone problem, example six. So we've got a cell phone provider. They offer a variety of prepaid smartphone plans. One plan costs $70 a month.
for unlimited talking and texting and 2 gigabytes of data. If you go over that usage, the charge is $20 per gigabyte. So if we go over the amount of gigabytes that were allowed, it's $20 for every 1 gigabyte above what we're, what we're given, our 2. So if the bill for one month is $130, Okay, so the total is $130. So whatever we do, it's going to equal $130. Because that's what our bill is. How many gigabytes of data were used? All right, so obviously, the bill at 2 gigabytes is $70. The bill was $130. So obviously, we got charged uh, for more gigabytes than what our plan said. So we used some of these $20 per gigabytes, and the question is, um, how many gigabytes of data were used? Well, we know we used initially 2, because 2 gigabytes is included in our 70, and since our bill was more than 70, we know we at least used those 2. But we need to find out how many more we used above what we should have. So let's come up with a problem here. Let's see, what do we know? We know our charge was $70 a month, and we got charged extra because we used more gigabytes than the two that we were allowed, and we know that our total bill was 130 So what we don't know is how many gigabytes were used above the two that we were allowed. So let's, let's look at what we know the least amount. We know the least amount of the gigabytes that were used over the two that we are given. So x equals the gigabytes over what we were allowed. So we'll call that our, um, our x. So our total charge is based on $70 a month plus whatever gigabytes we used over, which we'll, use, we'll use the word x for it, um, but along with that that X, we get charged $20 for every gigabyte we use over. So if we used 2 gigabytes over what we're allowed, it would be $20 times the 2 gigabytes we used. If we used 5 gigabytes over, it would be 5 times the $20 per gigabyte. Well, we don't know how many gigabytes over, so we called that X. And all, but we do know that we're going to have to pay $20 for every one of those gigabytes we use. So if x is 5, then it's 20 times 5, or it's etc. So we're going to call that 20 times x because we don't know how many we use, but we do know it's going to cost me 20 bucks for every one. And that would give me my total bill right there. So there's my equation. So I'm going to subtract 70 from both sides because this is a positive 70, right? So that goes away. So I have 20x equals 130 minus 70 is 60. Divide by 20, divide by 20, and x equals 60 divided by 20 is 3. So I used 3 gigabytes more than what I was allowed to. So they're asking me how many gigabytes of data were used. Well, I used 3 over, and I also used this 2 that was up here included in my plan. So I used 2 plus an additional 3, which means I used a total of 5 gigabytes for the month for $130. Okay, that's it for uh, lecture on 3.5.